you can do it i know that hello everyone i am manik so uh, today i'm going to show you how to create a data set in a uh, roboflow actually okay so uh, first of all you need to have a roboflow account you can uh, sign in with that okay so i have my roboflow account so actually i was thinking about to uh, create a model of uh, mass detection actually so uh, let's create the project okay so uh, write the name of your project and what things are you you gonna uh, do detect on that so in this project i'm gonna detect mass so i'm uh, giving the mask name here okay so just create for it after you create you can see the first uh, page is upload okay so uh, i have two two folders uh, one with not mask i mean without mask so upload whatever photos you have whichever photo you want to annotate into this project okay so with mask i uh, have with mask five photos okay so now these are total 10 photos actually so just go and click on finish uploading after that you will see how shall we slip these images okay so 70 20 and 10 this is how we're gonna it uh, split into if you want then you can change it to any anything you want okay after you click it, then uh, these photos will be uploaded to the Roboflow account. Then after that, you can annotate it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to annotate the image images. So uh, open this first image. So now here we we need to uh, find the mass, right? So uh, select those those this area. Select the area which which are the detection is going to happen okay so right uh, i'm going to select oh, my whole face with the mask so yeah in this photo we can see the mask so so and read this as a mask okay like this so next photo in this photo i'm having the mask so like this i'm gonna select it as a mask look here i don't have the mask here so what do i do so i create a new class with no mask like this and save it okay so now i have two classes one is no class and one is class mask okay so in this next picture you can see i have a mask then just i will select the mask like that okay after you're done then go back and then just generate new version once you created the new version you will see there are uh, a tab come which which shows information about the source images so total we have uh, 10 images and two classes two classes which two classes one is mask and one is not mask no mask actually okay and uh, yeah the this train and test fit okay so train validation and test fit it divided in it divided in the processing you you want to change the size of the images after the annotation and after after the uh, data evolution part so you can do it so uh, write whatever size you want in here and it will be applied applied okay 
and there are some other processing options like this uh, gray scales at your disk context title and modifier classes like this so you you want anyone any else other then you can apply sure after this after you uh, applied whatever you want then just continue then the augmentation part comes here you can do a lot of things like this like you can flip the images rotate to the 90 degree crop the images rotate images share images grayscale here you can also apply the grayscale so uh, let me show you some uh, some of the some of these okay so first one i'm going to apply the 90 degree rotation like this so it will what what you will do it will rotate clockwise 90 degree clockwise and 90 degree anti-clockwise like this okay and just apply that will be just fine and if you want something else then here i'm going to apply the brightness here you can see you can apply the brightness okay so the 27 percent brightness it doesn't mean that it will just brighter it will also darker darker of 20 27 percent okay so like this you can add as many annotations augmentation you want process okay so after that you just need to generate the data set so here in a uh, robo flow you will get up to 3x free so if uh, in this case i have just okay so 3x means i will get total of 24 images okay so after i create generated then this the file is generated okay look at this this is the all annotation file and whatever we have generated the new images that also get annotation annotated itself then after that uh, choose whatever format you want into so uh, if you want to do in LO Dacnet, if you are doing this uh, detection part into the LO, YOLO, so, so you can download the download it as in LO Dacnet or LO V3, Keras, LO V4, or any. If you want it, it is in CSC file, then also you can do it. So there are lots of options to download the file. Okay, and after this, you can just export it. Okay. So it will create a zip file and you can download this code the whole raw files okay and uh, i want to show something else so the thing is uh, you can totally uh, totally you can apply 1000 source images so up to 1000 it is free after that you you have to pay for them okay and uh, okay let me show you something else so if you have to pay then how much so this is the startup plan pricing actually so 1000 images is free and generating images generated images up to 5000 free okay so if you want 2500 then you have to pay for 50 dollar per month okay thank you have a nice day